If you've been trying to lose weight, you've gone on all manners of diet to no avail and you're struggling, this video is for you. Hello and welcome to my channel Yemi Show. If you're new here, a very warm welcome to you. This video is for all those who have been trying to lose weight without much success and um, they are frustrated, they have tried just like myself, they have tried the Aitkins diet, they have tried the keto diet, they have tried Weight Watchers diet, you name it, all manners of diet. But they find it difficult to lose that. Weight. I have been there before, I'm sure I can help you through this difficult path. I have been on all kinds of diets, and no matter what diet, one thing has hold true for all the diets and that is what I want to discuss with you today that is the mathematics of dieting so you would ask what is the mathematics of dieting weight loss is um, based on the mathematics of dieting it's a simple equation mathematics of dieting for you to lose weight basically means that your body should be able to use up the stored up energy in the body you want to go into your stored up fat that is your fat in your body this what happens is that um, when you eat more than is required you know for your body your body stores it up you know in as in your body as fat cells so basically those of us you know being fat basically means that we have enough you know energy you know that is being stored up so for you to be able to lose weight you want to go into this stored up fat and deplete that stored up fat it's so simple and how do you do this is by basically eating less so your body can use up the stored up fat for example if you need 2000 calories to perform your daily activities or your daily routine if you are on the big side and you want to lose weight you have to make sure that you eat less than 2000 calories you know per day and if you do this consistently over time your body will start to deplete the stored up fat in your body and you'll be losing weight gradually it's not something you just do once but it has to be consistently over time the more you do the more your body depletes its fat reserve or its energy stored up as fat reserve so basically that is what the mathematics of dieting so if you want to lose weight you have to take in less than what is needed for your body and the reverse is also the case if you want to gain weight you have to take in more than what your body needs i mean that's just it that is why we are most of us are putting on weight i know for some people might argue that um there are other predisposed um, factors but basically weight gain is because of the food that we eat we are taking more than is needed right and we are not expending that energy that energy is being stored simple as that so that is the mathematics of diet the most recent diet which i went on was the most confusing of all diets which was the keto diet and what made this diet you know really confusing for me was because i was told that um i could eat you know unlimited amount of proteins and fat and limit my carbohydrates and i was going to lose the weight man that was wrong i actually found out you know after much trying and a lot of um, difficulty that the keto diet basically was the same as every other diet you needed to count your calories you needed to stay in a calorie deficit so basically this is what the mathematics of dieting is 
that if you want to lose weight you have to stay in a calorie deficit no matter what diet approach you are taking be it the weight watchers diet be it the ketogenic diet be it the Atkins diet be it the mediterranean diet be it you know you dieting with intermittent fasting the most an important critical thing is that you have to stay within a calorie deficit and the calorie deficit you know is different for every individual you have to be able to determine the amount of calorie that is required for your body to function normally i'm sure if you go online you'll find apps that would able that would enable you to ca calculate the amount of calories that is required for your body to function and this is very much you know determined on whether you are a male or a female of course we know male because of their build-up require more energy to function than female this is determined on your height your size and your level of activity so those are the those are the factors that determine the amount of calories that you take so for you to lose weight on any diet like i said you have to be in a calorie deficit and what this simply means is that you have to take in less amount of calories than your body is using up daily simple mathematics you'll say so that's why i call it the mathematics of dieting i'll give you a, a simple example if your body needs 2000 calories you know to function normally on a daily basis if you want to lose weight if you are overweight if you want to lose one pound per week you'd have to be on a calorie de deficit of about 3500 calories per week that being said that means if your body requires 2000 calories you know to to function you have to be on a calorie deficit of 500 per day times seven because seven days make a week that means you have to be on a calorie diet of 1500 so that is how you would lose weight so no matter the diet in which you you take you know if you are if you are not on a calorie deficit you are going to be maintaining your weight or you are going to be putting on weight you are taking more than 2000 calories per day same thing happens if you are putting on weight you'll be putting on weight if you are consuming more than 2000 calories per day which is meant for your body to function that is why i call this the mathematics of dieting when i first did the keto diet which in which i lost you know so much weight i think i was on a calorie intake of about 900 calories per day and for someone like me i probably need about 1800 calories you know per day or or lesser lesser than that because i'm not a very very tall person so i was able to lose weight so no matter the diet you know the keto diet also you have to be on a calorie deficit there is no diet pill there is no magic diet it is just simple science is either you are taking less calories you know than your body requires or you are you know working out those calories one way or the other in form of exercise so that is the simple rule to every diet the mathematics of diet says for you to lose weight you actually have to be in a calorie deficit simple mathematics so for you to lose weight you have to take in fewer calories if you've not been able to determine the amount of calories like i said there are apps online that can actually help you to calculate the amount of calories that you needed for your body to function these apps can actually help you to determine the calorie de deficit that you should go on 
to help you lose weight if i see any of these apps online i'll put it in the description section i hope you have enjoyed this video i would love to hear from you i would love your comment thanks for watching and see you again in my next video bye